Transition God. Yeah. Okay. Transition so, God. As Candace Owens was saying, there was slavery all over the world. Mm-hmm. True that. And what people don't know is that the majority of Africans to leave Africa went to Brazil. So 35% of the at- Atlantic slave trade, those people went to Brazil. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of Brazil, I want to talk about this U.S. and Brazil development deal. Transition, God. Yes. And there you have it. So I was thinking, I didn't, I didn't really understand what this was. And be- before we get there, black don't stop. Black, black does not don't stop. stop. Black does not stop. So I was reading this article today, actually, and it's saying it, it, the language is confusing. The language is confusing. So it says that um, the U.S., the United States, and Brazil had a dialogue, and they're gonna make a major investment in development in the Amazon. Right mm-hmm. now, when I say development, what do you think? I think buildings. When I say development, what do you think? Evolution. Okay, so <clears throat> the way they're describing this development, they're saying it's going towards preservation efforts in the Amazon rainforest. So they're going to send people down there to plant a million trees. I don't see, and that's the thing. It's so, it's the language is so nutty. It's like, man, why don't y'all just say we finna drop a McDonald's down here or we finna keep motherfuckers from cutting this shit down? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's... There was no definitive stance in this article. Oh, no. So, man, this is an African country. Like, last month, uh, a couple weeks ago, Mm -hmm. they planted, I think it was for 12 hours straight. Oh, yeah. They planted, like, a million plants, a million trees. A million trees, yep. Yeah, in in a 12-hour span. Yep. Yeah, man. That would be dope if that's what they're going down there to do. See, and I I doubt it because the, the the goal of nations is conquest, right? Yeah. And we already know what the United States is about. It's a fucking McDonald's in Iraq. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, what makes the Amazon rainforest any different? Man, life. <laughs> and and that's who, the and, only thing that and makes. And nobody different. gives a fuck about life. You know what? I I <laughs> I got an interesting. I have an interesting uh take on that. Right, mm-hmm. life. That's uh-huh. it's great that you say that. Now, if I'm a venture capitalist, yeah. right, life for me is finding out a way to manufacture my food products that I sell you for as cheap as possible, mm-hmm. no matter what's in it, as long as it tastes good and you buy it, right? As long as it tastes right. like everybody, like everything else that I'm selling, yeah? Right. So no, under no circumstances should I be selling you a whole pizza for $5. Under no circumstances <laughs> should I be selling you a dollar menu. Yeah. Right. right? That pizza for $5 has to have something in it. Yeah, right. because your little kids... It's going to destroy their bodies before they fully develop. Yeah. If you feed it to them. If you feed it to them. Right. And I was watching the... Um, so nobody nobody that's in business cares about life. Right. Mm. Like, it's, they care about business. So yeah. that that scares me when I, I look know, at this. Man. When you look at Akon, Akon went into business, into the business of bringing solar energy. Oh, well, he's the, he's, the, he's the Black Panther. He is the Black Panther. I, mean, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. T'Challa. Yeah. 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 Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> check mate. <laughs> so moving on. Um yeah, man, it's just life, man. Life is so much bigger than human beings. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like when humans talk about life, they it's like they have the blinders on. They they got tunnel vision. When you, when a human being hears life, they only think about human life. So when I was talking, I was having a conversation with a Christian, yeah. right? Mhm. A devout Christian church member, mm-hmm. and when I said that us as humans have a, um, a overinflated sense of self-importance in the universe, mm-hmm. they looked at me like I was crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And in some form, shape, or fashion, the way they're being taught faith mm-hmm. is that everything begins with them, and humans are the center of the universe. Yeah, and it's like, how dumb is that? You can take every human <laughs> off of here, yeah. and the world gets better. <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah, <laughs> like every human can be gone. The earth is gonna flourish. Uh-huh. Yeah, cause we're the problem, and we <laughs> could, and we could never destroy the earth. Yeah, you could never destroy a planet. I don't pl- know. Look, see, that's the thing, man. It's an army. You and what army? Um, these seven billion other me's. All right, so let me ask you this, right? What, what we didn't had we didn't had an ice age before, right? But we've right. never had 
what is it nine billion people on the planet before we've never had this many people on this planet before. so so the human body right we we can get off this in a second i just want to say this the human body is the perfect machine mm -hmm. right now we live in the earth which is also a perfect machine right yeah. so in the event that it becomes too much for this perfect machine to function mm -hmm. There's a number of ways they can dispose of us. We got tsunamis. We got hurricanes. We got tornadoes. We got snowstorms. We got rainstorms. <laughs> all of this stuff can happen at the same time and wipe all of it. All they got to do is knock out the grid. Mm. Yeah. You knock out the power grid, we're going to take each other out. Yeah. Niggas going to die of hunger before That's anything crazy, else. Man. Bro, people don't even know, like, the Hunger Games is real. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I wanted to read the book, but it was long. 